Hey guys, I hope you're all well and having a really super day today. Today I thought I'd show you a few bits and pieces which I've picked up in a pre-holiday haul. So as you may know, right now as you're watching this, I'm in South Africa. This video is pre-filmed, so when this video goes live, I'll be on a holiday with Charlie. So I did pick up quite a few bits and pieces in the lead up to our holiday. It's going to be a bit of a mixture between beach holiday and going out for lovely dinners and doing excursions in the daytime, so I really picked up quite a varied selection of pieces from ASOS and I thought I would open up my parcels with you today. So the postman that literally dropped off these parcels maybe 25 minutes ago so I really got on the ball and started filming this. So I have one bag full of products and also a box as well so I'm thinking that maybe not everything fit into one bag because actually I only made one order so let's get started with what's inside the box. So the first thing that I picked up was this rather cute boho top from Pull and Bear. If I show you that side, you'll be able to see it a bit more clearly. So this is one of those lovely off-the-shoulder tops. You can see that it's got these straps um, which go over the shoulders, and then these bits here, which is where my arm goes through. I'm afraid I'm not doing a try-on this time, just because 99% of these items that I'm keeping are going to be in a lookbook video, which I'm filming in South Africa. So don't leave me comments saying, why didn't you try on? And it's because I'm doing a lookbook video. Video, so stay tuned for that but this one I picked this up mostly because of these straps um, that do go over the shoulder because as much as I love off the shoulder tops I do find that they literally slip down and these little straps will provide the support meaning that hopefully it won't slip down but it's a really beautiful light material I thought this is going to be really nice on those days when it's very warm and I just don't want to have too much material clinging to my body so that's a really nice summery top from Pull and Bear via ASOS then I picked up a pair of very lovely kind of tropical floral trousers from Reese. And if you watched my spring wardrobe essentials, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of floral trousers. And I just thought that these were a really lovely, smart pair. They look like they're going to be nice and slim fitting. Reese trousers, when I get my correct size, are normally a really lovely fit. They don't go baggy after a few washes. And I thought this print was a really lovely way of adding a bit of a tropical design into my holiday wardrobe. We're not going to be doing safari, but we're going to be doing a few things along those kind of lines. So I thought they'd be a really nice way of covering up, but without being too casual, if that makes sense. You know, maybe in the evenings on the safari kind of places, they'll be really nice with a white silk t-shirt. So I look forward to styling those up with my holiday wardrobe. Okay, sadly, this is a case of it looks a lot nicer on the site than I think it does in reality but this is a kind of pinstriped beach dress but the shape of it just doesn't look like it's going to do me any favours. I mean it should really be quite nice and fitted but the material just I'm not entirely sure that how it's cut is going to um, look that good on my body. But it does have a really cute neckline, it's almost kind of sailor girl style with this um, pinstripe material and the way that the collar forms and it is almost off the shoulder as well with these similar kind of um, shoulder details as on that first pull and bear top that I showed you and I do really like the um, black and white stripes, I think it's a really lovely um, design, I'm just not sure that this material is just going to look that good unfortunately so I'm going to give that one a try but not got terribly good feelings about it, sorry ASOS. Okay, I purchased this next one because I knew that I would want something in my holiday wardrobe that would literally just be an easy peasy beach cover up and that's exactly what this is. So it's a cream kind of caftan with some brown stripes in it, hopefully the camera's picking up the brown stripes, and then it's got a rope fastening for the waist. So I imagine this will look really cute over a bikini if I just want to go inside and maybe grab a drink or grab some lunch but I don't want to put on a full outfit and I think this will be really cute. I'm really sorry I'm not doing the try on by the way, I know it makes it really hard to picture the items but um, you'll have to wait and see my lookbook for that because I promise you these things will all be featured in there. But this is a brand called Faithful um, and I think I'd heard of them before. I'm not sure, I definitely haven't owned anything from this brand before, but they did have quite a lovely selection of beach cover-ups and beach dresses, so I may have a couple more pieces from the brand in this haul. But the rope style I thought was very kind of South African, um, kind of safari-ish, a little bit, um, you know, a little bit tribal with the rope, quite rustic, and yeah, the colour's very neutral, so they'll fit in really easily with the rest of my holiday capsule wardrobe. 
Next I have a sundress from ASOS and this is a maxi dress so it goes all the way down to the floor and on the top section you've got this beautiful blue almost kind of embroidery print, well it, well it is embroidery that's kind of stitching that's giving you that lovely blue pattern there and then are there any slits? Let's have a look. Yeah so there's a slit here um, which I guess would be quite high thigh um, and there's actually two slits so you can see the front section just completely comes away so that's going to be really nice when you walk it's going to show a little bit of leg this was really good price as well I feel like this was around the 22 pound mark so a really good price and again something just super duper easy for flinging on over a bikini and not having to worry about the rest of your outfit because this is the outfit and I think this will look gorgeous with some heeled sandals as well maybe my wedges I think I will get a lot of use out of this one from Boohoo. You guys know me too well and you know that I would never be able to do an ASOS order without ordering some key sunglasses. So I did purchase another pair and these ones are rose tinted lenses with a kind of milky almost bone coloured frame with a beautiful kind of cat eye shape which I absolutely love. I can't get this dangly thing off at the moment to show you but I think these are really really beautiful, very kind of classic design. You guys know how I love my Queer Australia sunglasses, I love the pink lenses, I just think they're such good quality and good value for money. These I think were about £24, I'll leave a link down below, um, but I can imagine getting a lot of use out of this because they're so neutral, so pretty, so me. But <laughs> Sorry Dexter, oh I made him jump, poor baby. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and yeah, I can imagine these will go with pretty much all of my holiday outfits, so I will get a lot of use out of these sunglasses. Okay, this next one I'm really excited about because I was actually going to make one of these myself. Basically, I saw Rosie Londoner wearing a hat that says, Wish You Were Here on it, and I think hers was Tommy Hilfiger or a brand from Nest Porter, but basically it was around the £300 mark. So I thought I'm going to buy a straw hat and write a message on it in sequence. But then I saw this, which says, I'm busy. Probably not my number one choice of sayings. I did also see another one from the same designer as Rosie London as one that said going offline, which I thought was quite cute. But hey ho, this was around £12, I think. And you know what? I just think it's such a cute trend. I can just close my eyes to the world, flop down my sun hat, and it's just really cute and fun that it's got that expression on it. So I thought that'd be quite a nice piece. I'm not gonna lie, I was thinking about my Instagram when I bought this, but I thought it's a really fun addition to my holiday wardrobe, and I think I'll get a lot of use out of this. I do love wearing hats on holiday, and if they're fun and quirky but still look good, then I love them even more. So I'm really pleased with this little purchase and um, yeah, look out for lots of Instagram spam with my I'm busy hat coming up soon. And that was the last thing in the box. So now I'm going to move on to the bag. I think it's mostly dresses in here, but it feels like there's a shoe box. Don't remember ordering any shoes, so let's have a look. <laughs> okay, now that I've seen the brand, I do remember this pair of shoes and wait till you see them. They are so cute. So most definitely another Instagram inspired purchase, but these are a pair of flip flops from a brand called Glamorous and they have um, pom pom threads which I'm going to be wrapping up my legs when I wear them. And I know these seem crazy, but I keep seeing pom poms all over my Instagram. I feel like they're going to be everywhere at Coachella and everywhere trend wise this summer. So I thought I'd pick up this pair before too many other brands jump on the bandwagon. And I just thought these would look so cute in photos when I'm wearing white denim shorts or a little white day dress. Just such a fun way to add an instant bit of excitement to a normal beach outfit. And I think these again were around the £20 mark, really not that expensive at all. And just so fun. I mean, oh gosh, can't even hold them. And just such a fun way of adding some colour into my otherwise quite neutral holiday wardrobe. So I'm so glad I picked these up and I can't wait to wear them. Next up is another off the shoulder top and this one is by Vera Moda. I actually saw a blogger friend tweeting a photo of this and I was like, yes, that is such a gorgeous, gorgeous blouse. I need to get my hands on that. It's got beautiful, um, if you can see the shape, flute sleeve detail, which is just such a beautiful, very 60s, very kind of hippie, chic kind of look. And then you've got the elasticated neckline so it hangs off the shoulder really beautifully 
beautifully and then some embroidery anglais lace kind of detail down at the bottom here so very folkish very 60s very Chloe style and yeah I think this will look really really gorgeous in the evenings and also for some beach days as well and we're getting down to the last two pieces this one is absolutely beautiful honestly I think I'm gonna wear this so much it's just a very gorgeous um, white jumper, ASOS own brand, so it really wasn't too expensive and I hope the lighting is picking it up on the camera. Basically it's a normal knit up here, then you've got a beautiful frill and then you have a much more holy kind of knit for the main part of the jumper before it goes down to a little bit of frill down at the bottom. I think I might even wear this jumper to fly in because it just adds a touch of glamour but still some nice warmth for a really nice flying comfortable outfit. And you guys know me, I love anything with a little bit of detail on it, anything really feminine and girly, and this just ticks all of those boxes, so can't wait to wear this one. Just so cute! And last but absolutely not least, I picked up a beach dress, and this one is ASOS own brand. So this one is a really lovely, quite a thick lacy material, it's more crochet than lace actually I'd say because it feels quite knitted. And then you've got this crisscross lace up design at the front and the straps cross over at the back so there'll be a really nice um, open back feature there. Also really like how this is cinched in at the waist so hopefully it's going to be nice and fluttering. And again just another super duper easy one to stick over a bikini. I think it might be quite warm as well which is probably not what you want to hear when you're going on a summer holiday but sometimes you do still want to be warm um, if you've just got out of the pool it might be a little bit chilly or as you go into the evening sometimes the temperature drops I know it's likely to do that in South Africa so I think I'll probably be quite grateful for the warmth of this dress and that's it for clothing but don't go anywhere because I also picked up a few beauty pieces the first beauty piece that I picked up was the Elemis Tan Accelerator Body Lotion and I have actually tried this before a couple of years ago and when I went on a holiday after trying this it was the most brown that I have ever been. So I can't say for sure if it was this, but it's a chance that I'm willing to take. This basically, I think it has carrot oil in it, I'm not sure if it says. Nut oil, um, shea butter, amino acid, blah 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 blah. It basically says that there's an acid in here that's naturally present in the body and used by the skin cells to form melanin. And melanin, of course, is what turns brown in our skin and gives us that lovely tanned colour. So it's a very safe way of making us more brown. So I'm really excited to to start using this. I'm going to be using it daily. I've got like five days until I go on holiday. It does recommend you can even start one or two weeks before, but I'll also apply this before sunbathing. So as soon as I get out of bed, I'll put this on, go to breakfast, and then put my sun cream on afterwards. This is not an SPF. Um, so I will of course be putting my Piswin sun cream on afterwards before I go in the sunshine but this hopefully will give me a lovely even tan. Then I couldn't resist picking up the new NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint um, Tinted Moisturiser Foundation. Basically it's a new launch from NARS so I had to try it. I'd heard really good things on vlog reviews that I'd read and I also tried a swatch while I was in Lane Crawford in Hong Kong and I picked up my colour there, um, a sample of it which is Groenland. I'm sure in Hong Kong it just said Greenland, maybe they translate it differently, but that's the shade that I've gone for and it's a really really good match and I am absolutely already in love with the finish of this. Sometimes on a holiday in the evening you want a really gorgeous matte base, but one that doesn't completely get rid of your holiday glow and I feel like this will do exactly that. It's also SPF 30 so if I wanted to I could wear it in the daytime, maybe when we're out and about doing a day excursion and I do want to have a full face of makeup because the coverage on this is pretty good. So I think a really good one to take on holiday with me. I also picked up a couple of brow products, the first one being the NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade, and I thought this would probably be a good dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz Brow Pomade, I'm not sure exactly the official name of it, and it also looks like a really good colour match for me. I picked up 01 in blonde, so I'm hoping that this will be a pretty close colour to my natural eyebrow colour. It looks really good to me. And because I love my brow pencils, I also got the Blink Brow Bar Brow Definer in Cinnamon Spice. I find that brow pencils are just a little bit better at creating actual hair-like drawings on your eyebrows if that makes sense. So this one's a nice tiny one, again really good for taking away with me. Another mini travel size beauty piece, I picked up the NARS, what are these actually called? Pure Matte Lipstick. I tried this on in Space NK and fell in love with it and decided to get it on ASOS because 
I prefer buying from ASOS. Um, so I picked this up in the shade Tonkin, which is a really lovely, quite rosy pink. I actually did a first impression of this on my Snapchat not too long ago, so give this video a thumbs up if you spotted that. But it's a really beautiful shade. It's still a brownie pink, like my all my favourite lipsticks, but it's a little bit more rosy, a little bit more mature, I'd say, than the lipsticks that I have been going for recently. So again, a really super one, great size for taking in my travel bag. And last, but absolutely not least, I picked up the Japonesque Solid Brush Cleanser. Now, normally I wash my makeup brushes with soap, whichever soap is lying around, which is probably not the best for the condition of my brushes. And seeing as I've got some really lovely new brushes recently, I thought I'd invest in a good brush cleaner. So this is a little bit like shoe polish, it's basically a solid balm and you wet your brushes, you create a lather on here, um, I guess like men's shaving balm, that kind of thing, I don't really know, I've never used that, um, but I thought a really super idea and it had really good reviews as well, so another one that I'm really excited to try. And that is everything that I picked up in my ASOS pre-holiday order. I hope you guys have enjoyed looking through this with me, enjoyed the whole unboxing experience. Let me know if you spotted anything that you like to pick up for your holidays and any favourite pieces. And as I said, don't forget to check out my lookbook which will be coming your way very, very soon. Or if you want to see these items in the flesh, I probably will already have Instagram spammed the heck out of all of them. So head over to my Instagram which is JosieLDM. Same as my Snapchat, I'll also be snapping away my time in South Africa. So I'll see you over on my social media. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next video as well. And I'll see you then. Bye!